adjustments that needed to be made at halftime because you know you were getting the ball, but you know you weren't you weren't breaking any long yeah. runs or whatnot. So what adjustments did you have to make in the second half? Oh, uh, I think you know it, it kind of fell on us. You know we gotta stop dancing in the backfield and just hit a hole, hit a crease, break a tackle, and then get get going. How would you rate the line today? Because it seemed like they were able to open holes in the second half. Uh, yeah, first half we struggled a little bit with movement and uh, you know shifts from the defense, but you know like I said, they picked, they picked it up and we bounced back and ended up running our way to victory. What did you see on that run, the touchdown run? Oh, uh, it was wide open. Yeah, they the center Nico he completely washed him out the play, so it was just me one on one with the safety. I was trying to jump over him completely, but he caught me again. So I got to either jump quicker or higher or something. So. You joined a long list of guys who flipped their way. Yeah, so it was cool though. What the did that streak feel that like? you have of 13 touchdowns in 13 straight games that yes, you played in. Are you aware of that? Do you care about that? Um, I actually didn't find out until two weeks ago okay. when it was at 11 because they, you know, they said that uh, I broke the 10 game streak or whatever. So you know, if you know. Keep scoring, keeps winning, so. Yeah. Should, do you want the ball more? Um, no, nah, I mean, yeah, we always want the ball more, but you know, as long as we get the Ws, it don't matter if I get five or 35 touches. I mean, from, from what we see, I mean, you, you're an electrifying back, but is there something that, that you feel you can get better at doing? Oh, most definitely. Uh, pass protection, still even running the ball, you know, uh, knowing the full integrity of the plays and, you know, making a safety miss and catching, obviously, because that drop, you know, that uh, fumble, you know, that could have cost us. But then, well, it did cost us, but not ultimately the game. So. How important was this one to win? Oh, it was very important. I remember this game, like I was so hurt. Mm -hmm. I just kept us out of the championship last year. So, you know, to bounce back and, you know, go up in the division means a lot. What to be in this position, how do you assess where the team is now? It seems like different things are getting a little bit better each week, mm -hmm. but it hasn't all been together really since the Stanford game, I guess. Yeah, like Coach said, we're still not a finished product. Uh, yeah, we have we had a lot of injuries, uh, but, you know, we got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, mm -hmm. offensively. Defense is playing good, you know, they're keeping us in the ball game, so we just got to pick it up on our end. Seemed like a big adjustment between the first and second half, even just in the amount of touches that you were getting. Mm -hmm. What was that locker room kind of talk about? Um, we were just talking about imposing our will, uh, coming out, you know, dominating, doing anything to get back in the game. Uh, like you said, we weren't really winning it too well in the first half, so uh, coach just keeping faith in us and allowing us to make plays. When you have two other guys on the right side of the line, how does that affect your play calling and your style of running specifically? Uh, it doesn't affect much. You know, I know they're young guys. You know, they're getting better. They made a lot of improvements since uh, since camp. So yeah, we, we have we have full faith in those guys. What was the thought process like when you were in the air doing that flip? <laughs> oh, I was, I was trying to land it, but I didn't even get high enough. So I'm gonna have to practice that one. <laughs> Ever do gymnastics? Cause <laughs> no, I didn't. didn't I wish I would. landing? Not even close. So. But Coach said that you were coming out in the second half and said you were going to decide, you were going to define this team in the second half. Yeah. How do you define this team now? Uh, you know, we're a team that you know we can run the ball when we want, and uh, we just got to stop shooting ourselves on the foot. You know, I mean, we, we have a lot of talent, we have a lot of good players, so we just got to keep making them. Most plays. The first half, you guys weren't able to run the ball. So is that more of a product of defense? Your guys' offensive line not blocking or something else? Was there a reason that you think? No, I think it's just us. Yeah, not being in the holes and stuff.